your dearly beloved, we gather here today to celebrate probably the most unholy couple on the face of the planet who will be taking this oath as a investment towards their bank accounts, hoping to gain lots of followers in return for more financial gain once they make the divorce video and post it to both of their channels. You may now kiss the bride. Hey guys, it's Philly and welcome back to the Spill Sesh Sunday Special. This is my weekly tea cap where I fill you in on all the drama I did not cover this week and we've got a lot to dive into, so secure those teacups, guys. So before we get into the hot topics of this week, aka the Jana wedding, I'm going to bring you up to speed with what else happened this week in order of how they occurred or when they started to gain some buzz. So Monday, the big thing that happened was the rumor that Lily Reinhardt and Cole Sprouse had broken up. The couple had been together for a few years now and are a couple both on and off screen. They play Betty and Jughead on the CW series Riverdale and when the news hit that they were potentially broken up, everyone was heartbroken. Rumors started because the two of them were allegedly avoiding each other at Comic Con and some interviews caused some buzz because it looked like Lily was kind of throwing shade by rolling her eyes at Cole in some of the interviews and she didn't want to take the microphone from him in another interview. Personally, I love this couple and was really, really hurt by this news. I thought they were perfect together. They're both like a little weird, but so fun. The couple did address the rumors finally by posting two separate Instagram photos that seemed to debunk the rumors. At least a lot of people took it as they were debunking the rumors. So Lily's caption was breaking. A reliable source has confirmed that none of you know blank. Now guys, every single time a celebrity does like an interview or they do a movie, um, they're in a magazine, whatnot, most of the time they're contractually obligated to post about it later. And I personally think that the two of them, broken up or not, would have posted the cover of the W magazine and I don't think that they did it just to say, hey, we're not broken up because don't believe anything that you read. Now, honestly, guys, I think that they just were trying to promote the magazine cover and I think they were trying to just make it less awkward and not have as many people looking at them as a couple. So I think that's why they did the captions that they did. I think they are such a private couple. They don't even want people to know if they broke up or not. I think they didn't even want people to know how they started dating and when exactly they started dating. So I think they want all the power in their hands, which I can totally understand. The reporter that interviewed Cole and Lily for W Magazine did make it seem like they were actually broken up today. In the article, the reporter noted that they were both interviewed separately. And this is a quote from the article. Two months later, the two would part ways romantically, lending credence to my suspicions that the separate interviews might have been connected to the two of them being uncertain about their future together. Basically, what he's trying to say here is that the fact that Lily and Cole wanted to do their interviews separately probably was because they were maybe on the rocks, didn't know where they were going to be when the article actually came out, and if they had done a couple interview, it would have just been really uncomfortable. If you're broken up and an article comes out about you about how lovey-dovey you are, it's going to be uncomfortable. So I'm sad to say that I think Bughead is actually no longer, but let me know what you guys think. Moving on, Forever 21 is forever canceled after they really messed up by giving their customers a free gift with purchase, or shall I say, a sample of an Atkins diet bar. These bars were allegedly sent with every single order because Forever 21 had to make a statement, but the look of several plus size women receiving them in their shipment is so offensive. Forever 21 should not be shaming people of any size or even promoting a diet bar at all. I am so disgusted. Forever cancel them and their cheap ways. I just, their clothes are a one-time wear before it shrinks or tears. I really honestly have never bought anything from Forever 21 that I have worn years and years later. It just gets ruined. So uh, I just don't understand what went wrong or who even thought that was a good decision. I don't care how much money Atkins paid Forever 21 to get their bars in their boxes, but absolutely not. 
let's do like a cliff bar or a luna bar or any other type of bar not an atkins diet bar like this is just like sending weight watchers oh anyways guys next we have eugenia and jacqueline glenn this story is frustrating because i really wanted the shane series that he did on eugenia to be this happily ever after for her but it seems as though it wasn't and her friends have said that her mom is actually the one that held her back from getting treatment long before she ever went Jacqueline Glenn does keep making videos talking about what it was like to try to help Eugenia. She did explain why she made the videos to begin with. She just really hasn't been able to get her out of a situation where she's surrounded by toxic people. She wants to make sure that the public is aware. So I guess we can all sort of watch Eugenia and make sure she's okay now that she's back from treatment. It all just kind of sounds like Hulu's The Act. I don't know if you guys watched that, but the mom. It was based on a real life story of Gypsy Rose and her mom who had Munchausen syndrome. Basically, it's when you try to make your child sick. It's very crazy and not accusing anybody of anything. I'm just saying this is what it sounds like Jacqueline Glenn is describing. So this is all just an allegation. I don't really want to dive too much deeper into this because I think that Eugenia's situation is pretty sensitive right now. And I think this is something that needs to be dealt with behind closed doors, at, at least between like her and a therapist. And I just really hope she can get the help that she needs where she's talking to someone that she trusts. Now guys, brace yourselves for this one. It's a major yikes of a situation because I mean, when it comes to Jaclyn Hill related stuff, these days, it's never a good situation. So a Twitter user who purchased a Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette eight months ago, opened her palette and noticed it was molding in one shade only. I know a lot of people have questions of tampering, but guys, this video kind of speaks for itself. I don't know how you could fake mold like this. It's so gross. I obviously have to say this is an allegation and hasn't been proven as a fact, but this is something that stirred the pot online this week. This girl was unable to get a refund from Ulta because of how long it's been since she purchased the product. But if a product claims to have the shelf life of 12 months and eight months into using it, it looks like this. Yikes. It's not a good year for Jacqueline Hill. I've seen palettes two years old and they didn't even look close to molding. So I don't know what is up with this. All right, guys, drum roll, please, because we're moving on to the story of the week. Basically, the one everyone has been waiting for and the one everyone's going to be talking about tomorrow, too. So finally, today is the big day. Tana and Jake are finally going to the big chapel in Vegas. They're getting married. I mean, the freaking invitation said in holy cloutrimony, so I just, I mean, can they both just stop saying that it's not fake because if you're going to put holy cloutrimony on it, you're just exposing yourself. I mean, I suppose we will have to see what actually happens because I'm still not completely sold on these two. I mean, literally in her TV series, she says that she has someone on the side. He's with other girls. I don't know if one day they just decided this is not for clout and this is for real or if it's still fake. But these two have absolutely no problem milking this whole situation because they're live streaming their wedding ceremony and it's $50. 50. I don't know who would even want to waste $50 on that. Even their fans, people who truly believe they're together, don't even want to watch that because it's a whole lot of money. I mean, most of their fans, especially Jake, are kids, and they would be asking their parents for this. And that's just not something. Absolutely not. Mom and dad don't work a nine to five, work super hard every single day of the week to put food on the table and to buy you the Jake and Tana wedding. That probably isn't even real. Like that's just nothing you need to be watching. I just feel like if this is all fake, 
and the wedding is really, really unorganized, and people end up paying $50 to watch it go down, it's not going to look good for either one of them. It's going to be like a small Tanacon. The company live streaming their wedding is the same company that sponsored the Challenger Games that Logan held this past weekend in Long Beach. It was his charity track meet. I think this company pretty much offered them a lot of money to live stream and promote their social media brand because in the Challenger Games live stream yesterday, they were saying that Halogen is a new company. It's a new social media network. I think they thought they could take advantage of the wedding and make a lot of money from it. I don't know, guys. I guess good for this company for trying to take advantage of an opportunity, but let's not take advantage of other people by scamming them of $50. It's not a good look for your company to just be starting out and get into some sort of drama. Pretty much upsetting if you ask me, but let me know what you guys think about the Tana and Jake wedding. I'm sure we'll be hearing more about it. It is gonna be starting at like 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight, so who knows what it's gonna be like. Who knows if I'll make a video about it tomorrow if things just go south and oh boy, let's just hope it's not like a small TanaCon or whatever. But anyways, that is pretty much all of the tea I have for you guys this week. I hope you enjoyed getting all caught up and hopefully nobody dropped their teacups because we need them again next week. But I will talk to you guys in my next video. Also, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for 70,000 subscribers. I never in my life could have even imagined that. You guys really make me so happy and I'm just so thankful that you guys love my videos, that you watch my videos, you comment on them. I really do try and read and like every single one of the comments that I see you guys, especially the ones where you have your post notifications on, it means so, so, so much to me that you guys get excited about these videos. I'm so excited. Oh my God. Thank you. Um, I love you guys and I will talk to you in my next video. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.